All right, friends, well, this is my Belarus tractor, my 572, and I'm about to do the most obscure, ridiculous video ever for one individual person that had a question for me, Mr. Carson Matty, or is it M-A-T-T-I-E Carson? I'm not sure. Anyway, you were wondering how the battery stuff was hooked up here. So, I'm gonna attempt to video this here for you and if you have this little box here this relay thing it does say how it's hooked up here and of course also in the manual if you're so lucky to have that um oh i can't read this so we'll toss that aside for now mine is set up with uh two 12 volt batteries so it's a 24 volt starter system on it and so I'm at the uh, the left hand side of the tractor in the back here you can see there's a positive negative and so we can see that the negative here feeds into from this side feeds over into this little relay down in here we've got the positive from this other battery here feeds down into the other side of that relay there and then there's some various wires going off and I don't know where they all go so this is not an answer like I'm some kind of an expert this is just me showing you what I see here and then of course we've got over here this is a negative which goes off into the ether somewhere all right so that's about all I can show you here. Obviously the big thing down here is the relay. And for this tractor, there's quite often a case where when you go to start it, the relay doesn't want to engage and will kind of rattle for a bit before uh, the starter actually kicks in. One of the things that they say in the manual is to be careful as far as how you would, uh, so if you jump start this tractor off of a, a 12 volt or, or whatever, um, you know you can do damage I, I guess if you do it wrong so yep two 12 volt batteries in this case and there are some of these that have a two a 12 volt starter system with two six volt batteries so that's that and let's see what's going on here and of course this may or may not be useful to you uh, but you can see how these are hooked up, and I'm not going to make a bunch of commentary on them because I don't know that much about it other than to show you the picture here. All right, one more shot here I'm going to show you. All right, so finally here we have the shot of the schematic. So there's a schematic here for 500, 800, 900 series tractor with a steel style cab and instrument panel and there's another one here for one with a fiberglass style instrument panel i have no idea what the difference is between the two other than i can see there are some obvious differences um, so right down in here we've got our batteries and then you can kind of piece this together i guess uh, let's see so number 15 there is our starter relay number 14 here is our interlock relay and what else we got i mean we've got our starter here obviously um 29 is our portable light 27 is our ground lockout switch so there's a bunch of stuff i don't know what I could show you here. I mean, this is just, you know, a lot of, a lot of goodies right here um, that are to see. And that's about it. I don't know if there's a difference in the other one here. Um, oh, this is showing all kinds of things here. So I don't know if this must be different options or something. Okay, so there's a there's your starter there, or here's a starter here, which appears to have uh, 58. Is your battery switch? 28. Is your starter switch on relay? 
and 25 is ground lockout switch 11 is socket for portable lamp oh yeah okay and then these two are your batteries 57 12 volt storage batteries okay so those are those and over here it's showing these two are the six volt uh, storage batteries if that's what you happen to have so that's that I'll hold on that for a second and you can see that so that was it uh, good luck with your machine